Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode one of season two of Bofuri. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. It's a little weird to have a Christmas episode as the first episode, but okay. It feels like it's been like what two years, right? Oh my god, are we getting the same opening? I think so. No, mm -mm. no, are we? The song sound I don't know. I would have to go back and like listen to the season one song. No, this is the same opening. This is season two, right? Why use the same song though? That's so weird. Okay. All right. It's hot in here. Making the <laughs> Oh my god, Maple. <laughs> Oh my god. Is it weird that I just got Genshin vibes, even though I have not played Genshin in a hot minute? Like, your girl might start getting into it again. My, my new co-worker is playing it, and he's like, oh, you need to start playing it again. It's so good. And I'm like, okay. Plus, I'm trying, if I do, I, I'd rather buy an account than just starting all over so I can just get the one character that I want, you know? Ooh, love the moon. I have nothing to say about that. Oh 
well, you know, Federica, that is like a really awkward way of saying hello, but I'm going to go through. <laughs> you know Sally is going to beat her behind. I think so. Maple, no. Oh my God. Like, oh my god, you found my secret. I'm exposed. Oh. <laughs> right? But you do like cute things. Yeah, why don't you just act like yourself? Ah. <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, damn, Sally, you get your butt handed to you, babe. Uh oh. <laughs> nice try, Federico. <laughs> oh, duh.
I know that feeling. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Like, can I have more hours, please? Can I have more hours so I can get more money? It's like between paying bills and then also paying for like your gotcha games. Oh, it's too much. Like I I I, I spent a hundred this week, a hundred and four something dollars on a gotcha game. That's usually my limit. Trust me, I have I have not spent like a thousand dollars. Thank God, Jesus, because I I feel like if I did that, I'd be like, dude, what the fuck. But no, just hundred dollars. Hundred dollars to me ain't that bad. It's just baby. God, it's just so pretty. Oh yeah, that's badass as fuck. I'm sorry. No, 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 kiss me, it's okay. <laughs> you know, nothing is wrong. <laughs> Yes, got to use the most OP of OP <laughs> moves first. Yeah, but I feel like Maple has already got them all. <laughs> Shut 
She literally sounds like one of the villains in Delicious Party Pretty Cure. Oh my god. <laughs> it just sounds like Sekiru. <laughs> and then, ah yes, my Nina Bobina. <laughs> oh, what's her face from 86? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn but I guess we killed the cute thing <laughs> Oh my fucking bees. I, I feel like Sally, cause you know, Sally. <laughs> Nothing, you just watch. Bye. That's supposed to be honey, right? You would think he would slip on the honey, but no. Poor baby. Hmm? <laughs> you know for today since it is Christmas you know I want to be around family and friends Sure, Frederica. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
just Santa outfits? No. Okay. I, I mean, you know, I was expecting a little more grand, but hey, it's okay. Oh my god! Mm-hmm, it suits you though. This episode went by fast, like, s seriously. Oh my god, because one minute we're at the beginning, we get to the middle, and now we're at the end. But initial thoughts in season two, I mean, okay, all right, number one, like, I I'm gonna, you know, because I felt like everybody maybe felt like this, but I know I felt like this. I felt like I was watching an OVA episode, like, for, for a moment, because I was, like, especially with the fact is we're using the same opening from season one and that's why i was like am i watching something from season one because of the fact is yeah we're still using the same opening song from season one which i have no problem with i i do sometimes like it when some companies just decide oh we don't want to use like we don't want to uh, i cannot speak we don't want brand new people to come in and you know make a new opening and everything we kind of just want to use the same opening and ending, which is no problem. I And it just tells you because, like, that song is just so freaking good and such. It gave me, like, really good memories of how, like, good season one was. So it's just, like, interesting to see it. Um, it kind of makes me wish that more shows would do something like that, which has happened in the past, which is true. Um, depending on the show, usually by, like, the final episode, they end up going to using the first song all the way from the beginning of the show to see how like far they've come as like characters and cast and everything but yeah it, it was really cute it just it, it really did feel like an extra oviated type episode which I'm mad at um it did go by quick really like i said because one minute we were at the beginning next we were at the end and then i mean no one minute we're at the beginning then we're at the middle and then we're at the end and then the episode is now over but yeah for a christmas episode i mean it's not that bad. I, it was a little surprising to see that the first episode of season two was a Christmas episode. I was kind of expecting it to be like, um, I don't know, may, maybe similar to how, um, oh my God, what the hell is the name of that show? Um, I have the fucking books. Where is it? No. Hold on. I gotta look. Give me a second. No, not, not, not that, not that. It's not this. It's not that. No. Um, is that it? No. There it is. Okay. Um, I thought it would be similar to Kuma Kuma Ben and how, um, especially when I watched episode one, one and two of Kuma Kuma Ben the first time where it was like, oh, hey, here's kind of a freaking dust um here's an episode that okay we have our main character already like kind of fuck the damn h books we can't talk about that book never gonna leave those over there um our main character already in the costume and then we get essentially um her origin story and stuff i was expecting it kind of like with okay we get a brand new character they're coming in and they meet Maple. So I was like, okay, if we do something like that, like that would be really interesting and different so that the newbie could see how freaking OP Maple is. I mean, yes, I love the fact that, you know, even returning into this, that it even shows once again how OP Maple is because Maple is extremely O freaking P. Like she, she's number one. I mean, like, out of all the characters and so many freaking animes that I have watched, um, she, she's, like, top tier and such. I mean, because the, the girl can do anything. 
We all we've known that since season one that if she gets something, it's a brand new thing, and the next thing you know, she's OP as fuck, and so she's getting more opportunities. Um, the new administrator, I think she's for a newbie. She is interesting. Like I said, she does her voice kind of gives me, um, sick sick I think that's how you say her name from Delicious Party Pretty Care vibes. Um, so if you haven't seen Delicious Party Pretty Care, go ahead, definitely watch it, especially because the fact is we are still very much close to the end of Delicious Party Pretty Care, and we're getting close to um, Here Goes Sky Pretty Care, which is of course the newest anti uh, the newest anticipated Pretty Care series, and of course it's celebrating the 20th anniversary, and of course like <clears throat> the girl, the woman, my my favorite singer who plays Kasumi was also in the Pretty Care series, so you know yes, celebration, yes, yes, yes. Which I, I literally thought that Maple Sayu would also be in Pretty Care, so it, it hasn't happened yet. But you know, like, here's kind of hoping. But yeah, I thought this first episode was good. It wasn't that bad. Um, it just it, it felt like, as I said with episode one of season two of Sunroon, it felt like coming home. It's been um a hot minute since this show has aired. Same thing with Sunroon. I think it's like been at least two, three years and such. So, to see these characters after, like, a long time, it just feels like, damn, nothing has changed. And truly, nothing has, as such. But I am excited to see what is really in store from see, uh, episode two onward, because anything can truly happen um, with Maple and friends. Of course, we're going to see Maple grow even more OP than she is now, because it's Maple, for Christ's sake. But... Other than that, guys, those are my reaction you towards episode one of season two of Bofuddy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode two. Bye, guys.